Communication is always vital when competing in tournaments. Winning a match requires perfect coordination. You cannot win by yourself. Raid Call. Communication for winners. It's Monday morning. I needed to turn the light off on my camera because it's kind of bright in here don't really need the light on. I also need to head off to the MTO today and get new stickers for my car, which I keep forgetting that I need to do. So, without further ado, welcome to my vlog. Gotta bring my bottle of alcohol with me. Reason being is I gotta clean off my license plate and some snot rags to do that too. So like I say, without further ado, welcome to my vlog. So I come down here in the kitchen, right? Listen to this. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that noise. This thing's on. Well, that doesn't make sense. This thing's dipped. Whatever. So that little toaster oven was running all night. All night. Just giving her. No idea why. No idea what the freak's going on. She's just giving her all night last night. God knows how long it's been doing that for. Uh, well, frigate, we gotta go. I gotta get my license and stuff. So let's pitter patter and have at her, head her out to the car, and head her off to the MTO and get shit did. Alrighty, well, bigger frigate. A little rolling vlog, yeah, people, today is back to work day, son of a bitch. But in a way, it's a good thing too, because now I can try and find out what the hell's going on at work, right? Also, what I need to find out is where the hell the ownership is for my car. Gonna need that to uh, get shit did. Before I go anywhere. So, some of you might have read in the paper, some of you might not have, because you're not from around here, but our company wants to sell, uh, sell us off, right? Well, there's a group who said, you want to sell us? You got to sell us for what we're worth. And they forced the government to get a, an assessment done. The company I work for is worth five times more than what they were going to sell it for. The government was going to let us go, well, four times more. Yeah, four times more. A little bit under four times, well, whatever. The government was going to sell us for 120 grand. The company's worth $480,000. Or, sorry, 100. Let's <laughs> try it again. The company was going to sell our division for $120 million. After everything's been said and done, they discovered our company is worth $480 million. Now, that's just our company, the communication side of things, not the train and not the refurbishment. Just our company alone, us, is worth $480 million, which means if any company out there, like Bell, Kojiko, Eastlink, Telus, whoever, wants to buy us, the minimum bid price has to be $480 million. Now a lot of people say, well, holy shit, nobody's gonna pay that kind of money. If they really want us, they will, but it's a lot of money to shell out, let me tell you. So I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but the government's starting to see that maybe it's not a feasible thing to sell. So I might be keeping my job, so that's a bonus. You know, I won't have to hunt for a new job. Friggin' rights, I like that. So that could be one less stressful thing to worry about day to day. And yeah, now the other thing is, is um, my iPhone 4, holy frig. I don't know what the hell's going on with that thing half the time. I tried everything with it. Like I've cleared it, I've reset it back to factory, and I've only installed apps that I need on it. So I only got like a couple video games, and uh, I took iMovie and GarageBand off of it. I use that on my iPad because it's just a better idea to use it on the iPad because the iPad's faster. And uh, I took a bunch of other apps off of there. The only games I have on there is that Four Picks One Word. Uh, Icon Mania, which is like four picks, one word, and Candy Crush, and the rest are just the stock Apple apps. There's no music on it, there's no movies on it, it's just an iPhone. And still, you'll turn it on and it'll sit there and fester for like a good minute before you can actually start typing anything. And this was after a quick restore, after I restored it with the, uh, with the uh, Apple iTunes. So, I've come to the conclusion that uh, chances are that phone's on its last leg. Now I'm pretty sure that phone, like I bought it for 80 bucks, the screen was cracked in the corner. I'm pretty sure that thing took a tumble. It was dropped, because uh, shit got moved around inside and whatnot, so not a big deal. And I was trying to decide, you know, get an iPhone 5, or wait for TELUS to get that new Galaxy S4, because that thing looks sweet. Now mind you, I think we're gonna get the quad core version, because we have LTE, but apparently that thing comes in eight cores. 
only processor I've seen on the market so far with eight cores is the AMD FX 80, uh, 8000 series. Eight cores in an ARM processor. Holy shit. That thing would be a tank. So, and it looks really nice, feels really snappy. Like the videos I saw look, made it look really snappy. And it wasn't videos by Samsung, it was videos by other people who owned the phone or who got to touch the phone at the CES or whatever it was. I still have my iPad for iMessage. So I wouldn't be too worried, but I still do kind of like the idea of the iPhone 5. But if iPhone, if Apple releases an iPhone 5 that's a bigger one, like the uh, there was rumors of an iPhone Plus, where it's going to be an iPhone, but like like a 5.8 inch screen or something like that, basically the size of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. They released an iPhone like that. I'd pick that some bitch up because it'd be the perfect mid tablet. Like it'd be the perfect device for doing tablet and and, and phone based stuff. I, I'd. Find it perfect. All right, punch it, Chewy. I got things. And we are at the MTO, or Service Ontario, or whatever the freak you want to call them. I'm so used to calling them MTO, where you come to renew your license, but people can't freaking drive. Uh, is there a parking spot there? No. Oh, we'll just back her in here, frigate. That seems like a good spot. As long as I don't hit anything, like that. Fucking snow banks. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head her inside and get this shit dealt with. I'll be back. Okay, so that went quicker than I thought. There's something else I wanted to do. Come on, car. Son of a bitch, this car. I need new spark plugs, people. I need new spark plugs and wires. But I also need someone to put them in for me because I don't know how to do the back ones. It's okay, I got a guy. i get off my ass and buy the parts, that's all. But, uh, yeah, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, phone. So, yeah, Apple's... There's been talk of Apple apparently producing, and I don't know, it's all just speculations and rumors, but uh, they want to make an iPhone the size of the Galaxy Note, assuming the reason being is they saw how well the Note 2 was doing, and they want a piece of that pie, which is understandable because the Note 2 outsold the iPhone 5 in the past, like, since its launch, it's been producing more than the iPhone 5, which unfortunately is not exactly a fair judgment, to make because if holy shit bud you're just dragging your exhaust um it's not really a fair thing to say because the iphone 5 has been out for a while right so you can't really say like when a phone freshly comes out everybody just runs out and buys it so it kind of kind of makes that phone there sell a lot more in the first couple months than a phone that's been out for like you know five months or something like that but I know a lot of people, like even look at Wilson Tech One, he had the iPhone 5, he bought, he got the Samsung Galaxy Note, uh, Note 2, he played with it, and he decided that he found Android was better for his mobile device, but he kept Apple for his tablet, which in all honesty is a pretty good, pretty damn good idea. Now the only reason why I like Apple over, like the iPhone over the Android phones is because I have a lot of applications for them, but this is what happened to me in the past. I had a whole whack load of applications for my, for my iPhone and my Apple account became compromised and I lost everything. Right now it'd be brutal, it'd be really hard for my Apple account to become compromised because yeah, I literally, when I created my new Apple account, I made an email address and it's just for that. I don't email nobody with it. It's strictly just an account for the Apple, and that's it. Like, the email address has nothing to do with me. It's just a bunch of random characters and numbers and whatever. So there's no reason for anybody to email it or anything. The one thing I like about Android over Apple, though, is you can do more with an Android phone than you can do with an Apple phone. You can customize it more. You can have more access to widgets. You can have, like... There's just so much more you can do to personalize your phone and customize it so that it serves your everyday use. What I like about Apple is all the apps I already have for it and the, the FaceTime and all that because like Bloke has an iPhone, Pug has an iPhone, a lot of my friends have iPhones so when we text each other, like I'm in the, I was in the Dominican and I was texting cat piss through my iPad through iMessage, didn't cost me a dime, didn't cost him a dime, you know. I can, if somebody in Australia had an iPhone, we could talk to each other over iMessage, wouldn't cost each other, each one of us. So that's what I'm saying, like, that that's one thing I like about iMessage. Now mind you, you can do that with Skype, but then you have to have Skype running in the background where iMessage is integrated. So yeah, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, I'm going to wait and see what Apple does, and if they release the iPhone Plus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. Probably going to go that route. Mind you, the Note 2 does seem very tempting with that Xenos processor and all, all the bells and whistles and the big battery and all that, it does seem like it would probably be the better phone for me. 
So, I don't know, people. I don't know. I do like Android, but I do like iOS. But I already have my tablet, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I went to Android. Any hoozle, it's currently 10 after 12. I got my sticker when I get home I'm gonna use my rubbing alcohol clean off my plate area and then install my new sticker and then the cops will leave me alone for an extra year Maybe probably not sons of bitches, but uh, we'll see we will see. Oh, I don't feel like working today Freak sakes those two weeks went by way too fast Way way too fast. They went by me by Frigo sakes, Frigo sakes. Oh, holy shit, Adam. Way to freaking crash. Hey, right, we're home. Talk to you guys in a bit. There we go. There we go. Wasn't my best install job of a sticker, but honestly, I don't care. And if anybody's wondering, they're now $41, no longer $37. Son of a bitch. Well, I need a bite to eat and things, so. Let's get the hell in the house. Oh, I just played some Yogg Box. That Minecraft Yogg Box fig. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with Yogg Box because there's nothing else to do in it. Like, I've already I showed you guys the. Well, I just finished showing the Goblin Place and all that other things and basically made armor with Thorium. And I honestly have nothing else I can think of possibly doing with that mod. So I'm pretty much thinking I'm going to call her quits with that and move on to another add-on for Minecraft. Maybe Volt or something else, I don't know. We'll see what we get into, but right now I really want a cigarette. So, I'm gonna have a cigarette. She's a windy day out today, but the wind's warm. Whatevs, I dig that. I don't know what the temperature is out right now. I guess we'll find out. It's hard to believe last week this time I was sitting in the swim-up pool at the Dominican drinking beers and Caesars. Just dicked. Oh well, in two years I'll go on another trip. It'll be pretty awesome. We're thinking about going to Cuba, and by we, I mean me, Rex, I'm going to talk to Bloke about it. I think Bloke's in. Go for a little YouTube trip to Cuba. That'd be awesome. I've never been there. Should be fun. Any hoozle, I better go check out my renders. Yeah, life is boring when you're back home, eh? Let me tell you about that. Life is pretty boring when you're back at base. Nothing going on. It's quiet. So, it's the way she goes, people. Sometimes life's exciting, sometimes it's not. What can you do? What can you do? Alrighty people, it's time to head off to work. Son of a bitch. And my first day back after two weeks off. Kinda sucks, but it's the way she goes. First we're gonna let dust mop out. Yep. I'm not going out with him. I'm just gonna let him out for a potty. And I gotta go. So if we can just hurry up and doesn't doesn't he look like he's enjoying himself? I, I say yes. And then I gotta go to work. I'm gonna go in a little earlier because uh there's gonna be about a metric fuck ton of emails waiting for me to deal with, so let's do this. Alrighty, I'm at work now. 3.47 p.m. That thing said it was four degrees Celsius out, so that's kind of awesome. Snow should be gone soon, hopefully. Hate the stuff. And I can't wait to bust out my tractor, because that's gonna be fun. Anyway, people, I'm gonna head her inside. Sounds like it's windy as frigo too. Right on. Right on. Six o'clock break time. I guess all that warm weather's really kicking the shit out of the snow. Beauty plan. I decided to come down here in the stairwell and hide from the wind because the wind's blowing from that away and it just crosses over the mic and muffles up the sound. So, frig it. Friggin' sucks though because all the snow is leaving and they're calling for a super snowstorm tonight. Sons of bitches. This weather will never end. Never, never end. Ah, maybe I'll get another run out of my snowblower this year. That'd be kind of neat. Like that kind. But that's all right. Don't mind that one freaking bit. But as you can tell, it's a boring night at work, so there's not much to talk about. I haven't been doing too much. Just answered a couple calls. Same old, same old. Back to the grind. Anyway, I'm gonna head her back inside. I'll talk to you guys on my lunch. Oh, I'm going for coffee with Rex tonight unless he falls asleep. Right on. Later, guys. Alrighty, well, it's 10.30 at night and friggin' winter has returned. Not sure if you can see, but it's blowing snow like a son of a goof. We're supposed to get a lot of snow tonight. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a pretty slow night so far. Just been hanging out and, you know, getting work done and things. And nobody's asked, but I might as well tell you about the MacBook Air. I'm just waiting here back to find out uh, where I need to ship it to get it fixed. And then uh, I'm shipping it out to get it fixed. Frig it. Then I'll have me a new MacBook Air to play with. That'd be freaking awesome. I was told to try out this new recording software called Morales. And Morales will allow you to do MP4. It's like Fraps, but it allows you to do MP4 recordings 
but you need a third generation i7 in order to use the MP4 in HD mode, otherwise apparently it doesn't do it. Now I'm wondering if that's because I have the demo version. It's 30 bucks for the full version. I am thinking about buying it because uh, it does a way better job than Fraps by far. Yeah. So I'll probably check that out and maybe scoop that up. But uh, I got that Gary's Mod. I bought that today. So I'm going to play with that a little bit and see how that goes. And I also got uh, somebody gifted me Arma 3. I haven't really played Arma 2. I got gifted Arma 3, so I might check that one out too. But tonight after work, I'm going for coffee with Rex. And uh, yeah, you can probably hear the wind just giving her up there, eh? Holy shit. Anyway, I'm going to head back inside, people. And I'll talk to you when I get out of this place. First shift back. Frig sakes. Well, winter's back. Frig sakes. Winds are blowing. It's snowing. It's supposed to get 10 centimeters tonight. Son of a bitch, I gotta clean off my car, so let's pitter patter and have at her and head off to the Hortons. I'm at the Hortons with Rex. What's up, Steve? Yeah, we're at the Hortons. It's not flipping you guys off. Right on. Oh my god, it's an egg donut! 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 Egg donut! Yeah, we're just chilling out tonight, hanging out, and now Rex is flipping you guys off. Right on. So, very good. Oh, and it's snowing outside like a son of a goof. Big times. Okay, we had enough coffee. Rex is tired. We're going home. Rex is tired. Look, you can tell. Going home and editing this video. Let's go. Oh, what was that? Sorry. <laughs> home time. Any who's old people, I'm back home. And it's 3.43 a.m. I'm going to finish the vlog here, shut her down, edit, upload, all that jazz. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them in the comment section below. And until tomorrow, people, keep on vlogging.